Now, interestingly, these two Sega Dreamcasts were confiscated in a drug bust of some sort. And I got them from the police department who had the listing on eBay. So here we go, we have the cords here. Composite cord here. Don't know if it's first party. Hopefully it works. Power cord right here. Your typical power cord. You can pick these up fairly cheap. And then the game here, which looks like it's in decent. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Let's have a crack on it. The game here is Test Drive V Rally. And let's see what the condition of that game is. Not too bad. So here we go. Sega Sports Dreamcast Black Controller here. We'll get into that more in a second. Let's just see what else is in the box here. We also have a transparent black one, or a smoky black. I believe when I had my original Dreamcast, I, I believe I bought four controllers for it, and I think... Um, I had a smoky, no, not a smoky one. I think it was more purplish see-through amongst other controllers. So the two controllers here, if you're familiar with retro gaming, you should know about the Dreamcast controller. But it is really the precursor to the Xbox controller because Microsoft, when they were getting into the console market, really mimicked a lot of what was on the Dreamcast and how Sega designed their controller, the layout, the button layout, even though with the Xbox you do have the second analog controller. But um, the one thing I never liked about it is that you had the cord coming out of the bottom and then you had to kind of wrap it up. You could connect it or latch it in the top here and it always would come out. I always thought that there would be some way that they could have routed that out the front. Uh, I thought that was a bad design choice. but And also, um, the way these uh, handles just face straight forward. If you're playing for a long period of time, it ends up that, uh, at least speaking for myself, it wasn't that comfortable. It would have been nicer if they had flared out. And that's one good thing about uh, Microsoft. They did come up with some of the best designs. Maybe not on the original Xbox, but they did come up with some of the best designs for video game controllers with the Xbox 360 and subsequently the Xbox One. But basically you have here your Dreamcast branding up here. This is a black version as you can see. You have your analog stick here with, you have uh, little nubs on it so that it, you have a better grip on it when you use it. You have your D-pad here, your Sega Sports branding down here. You have your start button down here, and then you have your A, B, and X and Y buttons, which is also something that Microsoft lifted from this. You have your triggers here, and then you have two slots here, one for a VMU, which is where this window is here, and I don't know if one is included, and uh, the bottom one is for a rumble pack. I don't think there are any rumble packs uh, with this, this set here. It has a unique controller port here, if I can hold on to it there, and this is what it looks like from the bottom. Give you a tour around the uh, controller there. And it's pretty light. Of course, it doesn't have any of the, you know, the components in it. But And, of course, the regular one, or this is a take on the regular version. The regular version was all of this color. Didn't have the smoke up top here. But, again, all the same styling. It's just a different color. And, of course, you have the smoke clear plastic there. So you can see all the, the innards of it there. So let's put that to the side and get to the double main event we have here. The two Sega Dreamcasts. So first of all, let's see what's in the little package here. Maybe they are VMUs. Come to think of it, I think there might have been two or three VMUs included in this auction here. So, 
they did an excellent job of bubble wrapping this. Okay, so we have three VMUs in here. And I always thought these were such a cool idea because, you know, they were kind of underpowered. You could actually play a game on them, if you're not familiar. You could actually, because this is an LCD screen here, it's a monochrome screen, so it's only black and white. But it had a little controller here. It has a sleep button, a mode button, and an A and B button. Looks like a mini, mini original Game Boy. And uh, you could get them in different colors. You could get them in the clear colors like you saw on the controller there. Or you could get the solid colored, the original colored Dreamcast. And I'll actually show you the other uh, Dreamcast that I have in a second. Uh, I believe, yeah, all of these are just the original color. And you can see that the uh, this one has a cover on it here. If I can pull this off. There we go. And that would reveal the linkage to where it plugs into your controller. So you would turn the VMU upside down, put it in like a little cartridge there, snap it in, and then you'd have a little screen. And that actually comes in handy, especially if you're playing a multiplayer game where you can actually, let's say you're playing a sports game, these are both sports consoles, uh, you could, you know, have a football play on there and that would be unbeknownst to the person you're playing with. So I always thought it was an excellent idea, a very cool idea. Really, this has never been replicated since the, the Dreamcast and I really think it would be really a cool idea to have a little screen or like this, a removable piece that comes in and out of your controller that has a screen on it because I think it's it's untapped territory. Now, one of the other things that you could do with these VMUs is you could play mini games on them. That's why it has controls on them. And you could, that wouldn't be something that I would be necessarily interested in, but you could do it. You could play a game, and then if it had a mini game component, you could take this with you to wherever you want to go and play that mini game, and then plug it back into the game, and it would affect the game. So if you had, uh, I, I don't know what kind of game I could uh, draw on right now. I really was never into it, but there are certain games where you'd have certain components where you could train a character while you're on the go, and then that character would have uh, better skills when you actually play the actual full-size game. So again, a super cool idea, and it's a shame that it died with the Dreamcast. But if you'll notice the tops here where they plug into the controller, they can actually plug into each other. So what you could do is you could transfer saves that way. So very cool. I don't know if these have um, batteries in them. I might have to replace the batteries, but as you saw in this one, it has the lid. These don't have the lids, and uh, that's what they look like right there. You have a little lanyard loop there if you wanted to. You could put, a, put this on a lanyard. On the back, you have what appears to be a little speaker there. I don't know, though. I'll have to check that out. I don't remember if, if uh, these things actually had sound to them. There's where you could replace the battery. You just unscrew the screw there and pop this out and replace the battery. I would assume it's a, it's a fairly common battery you could find somewhere. Very cool idea. Again, it's sad that uh, really not, not uh, utilized anymore. So let's get to the consoles. Before we do that, let me show you the other Dreamcast I have here. This is the regular color of the Dreamcast that it came in. And uh, we will show you the black version here. So let's see if I can slide this out without taking this out or taking this off any further. All right. I believe this is the one with a couple of scratches on top because it doesn't have the sticker residue. Actually, is in a lot better shape than I thought it would be in. So there we go. Black Sega Dreamcast. You have your Sega Sports branding up top here. You have a couple of scuffs up here. Not too bad. Definitely not very noticeable. Now the console, in my opinion, is probably one of the coolest looking consoles I've ever come across. There's something about it, it's very compact. I love the, the use of simple shapes. You have the triangle here, you have the circle here, and of course you have the square or the square-ish uh, shape of the console, and it's very compact and Probably, in my opinion, the best looking console that was ever made. But uh, you have your Dreamcast branding up here, and this is black. As you'll notice on the regular one, it is that 
beigeous tan color. So that black emblem is fairly rare. The Sega branding up here says compatible with Windows CE. You have your four controller ports up front here. On the right side of the console, you have a vent, you have your modem here, which was the first console to ship with a modem. This does come out and uh, you could replace it with a, uh, let's see if I can pull that out. It does come out. I just don't want to drop anything here. Trust me, it comes off and you can replace it with a, uh, a broadband adapter, which is fairly expensive. I think I looked up one on eBay, it was like 200 some dollars. Don't really care to play any of these games online. On the back of the console here, you have some more venting. You have your AV cable port here. You have your serial cable port here. And then you have your power port here. Of course, your hinge on the back. On the left side of the console, there's nothing here. And on the bottom, you have some venting and you have your four rubberized, or actually two rubberized feet up front and then the plastic feet in the back. So really much better condition than I thought it was going to be in. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, there we go. This one, as I thought from the picture, is in better condition now. You see that? That's just sticker residue. I'm going to get that off with uh, uh, Goo Gone or whatever they call it. Actually, there's a little scrape there. But... Uh, really good condition a lot of times you find these i really was paying attention to the pictures on on the ebay listing and a lot of times you find these with some gouges and nicks and stuff like that both of these are in, in really decent condition i think this one is a little bit in a little bit better condition but uh again say dreamcast pretty much everything's the same on here in great condition here has its feet. The only thing I didn't show you was how to open it up. You got your open button here. There's a little bit of dust in there, but that's fine. That's nothing that uh, can't be cleaned out. You have a light here. You have your LED light, and that's an orange light to match the orange Dreamcast swirl there. And then you have your power button here. So very cool. I'm pretty happy about this. Um, I'm probably only, only going to keep one of these systems here, but at the moment, I have three Sega Dreamcasts and one game to play. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or share this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.